So I'm gonna show you how to make this cool mock-up and first we need to go into Illustrator. Nice, just very simple, very minimal. It could be for like a band or maybe there's a um, solo instrumentalist or musician or artist and they need some really cool design, then this is gonna be awesome. So this is the design I have. You can actually go to Envato Elements, you can go to Free Pick, things like that to find like botanical illustration. So I just searched up botanical in the graphic section. And if you want Envato, you can check a link in the, my description below and you can check out the subscription there. But for example, like if I click one of these ones, you can see it comes with like flowers and I can use this and multiply it on my colors. So just download a pack online, look for a free one. I'm um, going free pick and you'll find one. So you can see here is what I did. And I've actually created the same size for the actual mock-up. And for the mock-up, I downloaded these from Zippy Pixels. These are professional um, bundle ones. So you can see here, and if I just jump into Photoshop, you can see it's already there. So what we're gonna do is start to create this out and it's gonna be super, super awesome. So I've just uploaded an Illustrator file. You can see I've got this pack, 29 branches, twigs and leaves, and you can see all these different files. So for example, if I download one, open one, you can see it's like a vector file there. And then what I can actually do is I can you know, copy this. Um, I'll probably go for this one. So I can just select it, make sure it's grouped, and then I can paste it in my Illustrator document, as you can see like that. And now it's ready. And I'm just gonna start to play around with some of my colors. And you can see I've got this cool palette. You can actually download colors from colors.co or actually Adobe Color. And I kind of like this green, um, this cream and this like nice monotone, like sort of greeny color. So I'm gonna start to lay out the background. I'll press M for the marquee tool. I'm gonna select my dark color because I like that contrast. I'm gonna duplicate it and bring it like this. Once I'm cool with that, I'm gonna just lock these backgrounds. I'm gonna drag my flower that I've created. I'm gonna bring it forward. And then you can see, I'm gonna press Control H to hide the points because it's too too many points in the way. I'm gonna just hide that for a second. I'm gonna scale this down like this, which is beautiful. So now we can do a few things. I can actually change the color to this nice cream color. I can put it the same color as the background. And then what I'm gonna do is play around with my transparency panel. So what I like to do is like do a multiply and put it to 50%. And this gives a nice effect where it multiplies the color on top of each other and just has a nice detail. You can also do overlay as well, which works fine. Soft light as well. So if I just bump up the opacity, you can see the effects there. It's very similar in effect, but the way it works is just a bit different. If you wanna go the lighter route, you can do color dodge. Just make sure that the color is the same as the background and you can get this light effect. You can see for this one, I added the multiply. So I'm gonna stick with that for now. So I'll go to multiply and I'll put it to 50%, which looks great. And maybe we can like scale that up a little bit. And then I'm gonna paste it um, on the this side as well, as you can see there, get across. For the CD there. And you can see with the CD, I pretty much copied the size in the Photoshop document. So I opened like the CD and I figured out what the size of the middle is. So that's 477 pixels. And then all you have to do is just make a circle. And once you know the square as well, the, the overall size, you just make a circle in the middle and then I put it on a different layer. So you can see there's a circle here. So I know not to create inside that circle, like it's gonna get cut out anyway. So that's a good tip there. So now, what I'm gonna do is start to type out some text. So I'm just gonna go back to my layers panel. I'm gonna press T for the type tool, I left click once and bump this up. I'll bring my type tool up here. And what I like to do, I like to use the, the filter tool. So I'm gonna click filter here and look for a serif font that I like. There's heaps of different fonts I have. We've got, what do we have here? Bondoni, that's probably too high class. Um, we've got Brillon, I like this, Brillon's pretty good. So I'm gonna go here and for this one, I typed like um, my friend, he's like, does like sort of worship music, which is cool. So typically that's what I did for that. I'm just gonna stack the text. 
and you can see if it's not really readable what you can actually do is like drop down the opacity of the of the bir of the birch there with the illustration so just so that the text pops a little bit more so maybe go 40 percent should be fine i'm going to bump you see how there's a lot of space on this side because of the l here i'm going to left click on the d and then press alt to m bump the kerning i'm going to hold alt and shift just to bump it uh, like that and put it center it i feel that looks really cool and in worship and then you could put like Maybe like 2020 or something. 2020 collection, something like that. Something neat, and I'll probably like change the color there. I think that's cool. I could probably even find a font that could go with that. Maybe a we need like a simple font here. Config. I don't know about that one. Go Montrex Jazz, and I'll probably go like book, and then we'll go type change case to uppercase, um, and then maybe it's too thin, so I'll go regular, and then just make it heaps small, bump the kerning a little bit, make it smaller, just give it some space. Boom! I think that looks cool. Amazing. So we have that ready. I'm just checking back here. So now we're going to create this side which typically has like the names of each track on the CD. So I want to start to create that. So I could get another birch flower or typically what I'll do, I'll just like duplicate it by holding alt. Then I'm going to like rotate it just to get like a sort of interesting effect. And I'll leave it like this. And then what I'm going to do, lock the background. I'll press P for the pen tool, left click, and I'm just going to make a stroke. And then I'm going to select my swatches colors here. So shift X to make sure that it's on the stroke. And then what you can do is if you select this, go, go to the top on the left corner, you can see like the stroke section and maybe bump that up to like five. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this here. And then I'm going to call it the names of the tracks, breath. Like this. And then I'm going to make sure that it's aligned to the right there. I'm just going to use my eye to roughly snap that. You can also press Control R and drop like a ruler there. So I know. So I'm just going to just make sure there's enough space. I can select all these and then go to the top. You can actually align it so it distributes the weight uh, evenly. And then I'm going to put the numbers here as well. So I'm going to get my font here, the Montreal uh, regular jazz. And then I'm going to, you can see my smart guides are turned on. The glyph smart guides all snaps to the bottom of the X height there. And then what I want to do is just to like do, I want to represent like number one, or you can be like, you can do that. It's up to you really. And I press control D just to duplicate like that. And I'll do like four, three, two. The red's a little bit hard to see when it's like small. So I'm going to bump it up to maybe Demi Bold. Tighten the kerning. I can do this nice yellow color if I want, or I can just like do cream. I think we would just want to go minimal, guys. And I think that's nice. So it's nicely aligned. It looks minimal. It looks super, super clean. Beautiful. So we've done that side. And then now for this, what we can actually do is we're going to play around with the shape of the CD. So I'm going to locate the center roughly. The smart guide should help you out with that. I'm going to hold Alt and Shift, scale that up. And then what I'm going to do is press Shift X. I'll get the eyedropper tool, pressing I, select the same size as the other stroke. And I'll get this like stroke up, right? And then I'm going to delete the bottom one. So you select the point and press delete. And then I'm probably going to delete this side as well, like that. So we've got like this cool stroke. And then I'm going to press C for the scissor tool and probably cut somewhere like halfway or something. Cut like here. I'm going to cut somewhere here. 
And then I'm gonna use this as my type path. So I'm gonna press T for the type tool. And then we want to right click on the left on the type tool and select type on a path. And then I'm gonna left click on the actual path itself, as you can see here. And then I can call this 2020 collection like we had on the other side. Like the same as this. I can eyedropper it and make sure it's the same size. And then probably scale this, but obviously I gotta drop the size down. And I'll just bump the kerning as well. So you can see that. And now I've got sort of this cool rotation here. And then I'm just gonna actually move this stroke out a bit or I could move this like this. So just to make it, because you can see it's like on the line, but I just want to make it that it's like sort of the lines like hitting, it's sort of like hitting the middle. So you just bring, it's better to actually bring the words down there. And I think that looks nice. And I'm just gonna maybe make it a bit bolder. Like that, clean connection. Awesome. I'll roughly move it as well. Doesn't have to be completely accurate because obviously we're gonna put it on a mock-up. So we've got 20 collection. I'm also gonna grab his um, his name, like all the thing, Daniel Worship. Obviously he has his, his last name, so. Uh, Valentino. I could probably change this one as well, but I'll just leave it. And just want to scale it down a little bit. And then I want to do like four tracks. And I can get a little bit creative with this one. So I'm going to just we'll do this. We'll go like all caps. I'll make it this and I'll make it like really ultra thin and then we can like play around maybe go overlay or something or we can like, like put it somewhere somewhere we'll figure it out <laughs> um, it's probably a bit too light using overlay I'll just leave it on normal for now. Then four tracks. Actually, I might make it the same as this. Just to simplify. Four tracks included. I'm going to bump the kerning up as well, like that. And then I can probably make that red. Yeah, I think red's cool. And I think there we have it. And now let's go add this onto a mock-up. Just want to quickly save it, guys. Make sure you always save your work. So I'm going to unlock everything by pressing Control Alt 2. Make sure that everything's selected. Press Control C. Jump into Photoshop real quick. I'm gonna go to there's I got like two mock-ups here. But let's just use this one for now. I'm gonna go to the CD cover. Uh, wait, let me just make this smaller. I'll click on the CD cover layer, double click on the design, press Control V to paste. Um, and then I want to make sure it's a smart object. And I'm going to scale it up and then find the square and just snap it in there. And I'm going to press Enter, then press Control S. And now I'm just going to close this for a second. And you can see there, that looks amazing. I want to go to the background and you can see it sort of has a um, color there. But what I like to do is add a solid colored layer. And then I can just select this color or the cream because it's already in the background there. Depends however you want to do it. So maybe the cream is probably the best. And I can press OK. Then I can click on multiply. And it adds like this nice tint because this is like red here. Um, I can do like overlay. Play around with this. 
And obviously I can put my own like texture in the background, but I'm just gonna turn the background off for now. And then I'm gonna go back and then we'll select this. And then I'm gonna go to the CD. Uh, I think the color was locked. We can always just add a color layer in Photoshop, but I just like copying and pasting. It's just faster. Do it in one go. And I'm just gonna hold Alt and scale it from this, and hold Shift, scale it from the side. It should snap relatively well. And I press Control S, and it should add it to that. And you can see, yeah, there it doesn't it doesn't add the middle bit, but that looks. That looks awesome, that looks amazing. So there you have it guys. That's how you add a cool CD mock-up design, you know, for a music label, a CD, whatever. And if I can, if I go to this one, I can do the same. So for example, this is like the open case. I can quickly, I'll just quickly do that. Control, Control V, paste that in. And obviously like, if you put clipping masks in the Illustrator, it will make sure that this is not like this, but. For this tutorial, it's fine. Um, scale that up. Press enter. Control S to save that. And um, that should be sweet. Let me see. Make sure we go to the right mock up. Copy this. Well, I'll copy um, the background layer, color fill, and just paste it in this on this one. And now you can see, you can see the nice texture there, the nice mock-up, looks beautiful. Love it, awesome. And there we have it guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And I hope you can create something cool for your new CD, or maybe an album cover or something like that. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Smash the like button, and guys, remember to subscribe because I post design content all the time. If you're a beginner, if you're a growing graphic designer, you're gonna excel and, and expand very fast.